welcome back to another review. As you've seen the previous shorts, that my Geo Stumbergia right here had no arm, but I got it. It has two arms. You can see it right there, right there. And I was happy when I got Geo Stumbergia, but they didn't also mention that I got a Pegasus hammer collection figure because when I looked in the place I was at, like Target, the only one were left, so I thought. And pick it up today because it's the only one left. And lucky enough, they're both in the Lost World line, which is great for me. And let's start. Let's start picking some stories first, and then we'll get to Geosilvergia, shall we? All right, test her with the packing some stories. Put you back on the side. There. Let's go with you. The box on this is great. It talks about how packing some stories. I'll read it to you guys because I guess because it's the only one that has a bar. Alright, well, I'll start reading them. So it says, with a name that may be difficult to produce, to, to pronounce, the package of stores faces an engine head on with a, with a skull that's, that's nine inches of solid bone. So yeah, here's the box art. And here's a little photo of what he's been showing in the movies. And I, and, um, I watched all the Jurassic movies last weekend. Well, not because I didn't go anywhere. The articulation is just kind of like how the other, so the can go, a Pegasus tail can go that way, that far, and this way, that far, up and down, it can turn all around, swivel, not bad, but the better one's not that bad for here, I, yeah, it's kind of more smoother than the other ones, I think because this is a newer one, or I don't know, what, and then the leg, it could do, Kind of, you could go up that far and down that and back that far. And here's the leg joint, which can spin, no, it can swivel 360, I think. And also same with the little, same with the foot. I know it's hard, you can't see it. There, you could spin it in 360 way. And that's all it has. Same with the other leg as well. And the hands also can spread out. Can swivel, can swivel, and also the hand can swivel up, up, and down. Same with this up and down. The head, there's a neck, a neck joint. You can see, but it goes down that far and up that far. Consoles turn, all swivel, and yeah, there's a swivel at the. Head, no, kind, yeah, you can turn the same with this and swivel. You can go up that far and down that far. And the mouth can open and close, which is hard because you can't even like. Oh, there we go. Never mind. You can't. You just gotta. You gotta go. Oh, you can. You can open that. You can open this much. And. Pay of sculpting is good. It's, I think it's it's accurate to Joseph Parks, The Lost World. So there's um, a because packets of a source, and I think I like it. What I how what I got for the last deal of an um, packets of a source figure, and hope I get more herbivores because this is actually my first herbivore in my collection. Because I didn't get I don't, I don't want any more carnivores, because um I have too many carnivores. All right, so now let's get on to the Geo Sternbergia review, shall we? All right, time to review the Geo Sternbergia, but moving you out to the side, Pegasosaurus, and Geo Sternbergia. All right, here's the box. Geo Sternbergia, 30th anniversary. Also, this one has 30th, this one also has 30th anniversary. And it says here, Jesus Bergio. While the while the Trinidad may rule the skies on Isla Sorna, the Jesus Bergio makes a memorable pre-production appearance on and displays a impressive wingspan with a longer neck, neck, beak, and a head crest. Yep, a little a little story about the Jesus Bergio. It was supposed to be in Jurassic Park Three, which I'll show in the bottom of the screen, but then got scrapped for the Trinidad because it was made. The model was made and all that, but it never was used for production. I think you could look it up. I think you could look someone up that knows about the Geosubergia. That's all I know about it. Alright. And here's a Geosubergia figure. 
here you gotta start the legs. Can move, they can turn, turn all ways, and move up and down, swivel on all sides. Same with the other little one, swivel. And same with the other side right here, the elbow swivels. It's not that bad for a figure, for like this pose. But I'd rather put it like this because that's how I display my figures because because it's growing, guys. My collection is growing a little bit. And you can what you get the wingspan. This there we go. There it go, here's his wingspan. Alright, and here's his wingspan. It's really good. Here's you can swivel. Go up and down, down, same with this one, swivel, up and down, and thank god I got this one, because imagine if I reviewed the Birkin one, it would have been a mess, and I'm going to move his wings up, because it's blocking someone away, here we go, and this helps have a swivel, so good, let's turn all the way, swivel, the swivel on the neck, go up that, that up that far and down that far. Same with here, you can look down that far and it can go up this far. And you can move its jaw up and down. And the painted sculpting of the Geostar Bird gift figure is really nice and actually matches its, matches its counterpart design, which I'll show you on the screen. And when you're looking at the Geostar Bird gift, I rather not have in the because I don't have the the what's it called? Like a, a it's like some kind of thing you use to like put like things that are flying, which I don't have that because I don't have that kind of money and can't find that. But I'm happy what I got right now because it's really great to have my collection. Actually, these are not even carnivores. They didn't get this time. I actually just got like a, a, a pterosaur and a, oh God. A pterosaur and um, yeah, pterosaur and um and a um, herbivore, and these are great. These these figures are great. And now it is time to compare the Geosabergia and the Hammond Collection. No, the, yeah, both of the Hammond Collection, Geosabergia and the Hammond Collection with other Hammond Collection figures, shall we? All right, it's time to compare some figures. So let's move these boxes aside because we don't want any distractions. Let's start with the Pachycephalosaurus before the Geosabergia because this is a different figure. All right. So, Pachycephalosaurus, here's the Thylophus, Hemicledium Thylophosaurus figure, Thylophosaurus figure, which you can tell is not, is, when you look at it, um, you can look, they're kind of the same size, nope, the, the Pachycephalosaurus are the same size, and then, here, we, and then now, that's, we got the Hemic Collection, Velociraptor, a little bigger than, can't see it, but it's a little bigger than, than the, um, than the Velociraptor. Um, move a little bit closer than there, maybe next time. And now we got the Concavenator, or Concarvenator, if whatever, how I call it. It's whatever I call it. And then, here we have, it's a little bit bigger than if you move its head, if you move its, move its neck, and you move that, and move its power, if you move its feet properly, and he'll, he'll be like a little, yeah, he's bigger. He's bigger than, you look, he's like a little bit bigger than, than, um, Cavernator. Not, no, Cavernator's bigger than the Pegasosaurus. <laughs> um, and now we have the Emma Collection Baryonyx. My first figure ever got in my collection, even though I haven't, I haven't reviewed the Baryonyx, I might do one day. Because I haven't reviewed it. And same with the Kirk It's bigger, but it's how you display it. And then here we have the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. The big boy. He's bigger. Yep. Totally being his height. Alright. Now it's time to do the Geostabergia, shall we? All right, now it's time to check the Geostabergia by checking with the Pachycephalosaurus, which is literally bigger than the Geostabergia because it's sitting down. 
And now we have the Velociraptor, which is, I think, a little bigger. I think, I think it's a little bigger because the Pachycephalosaurus was bigger as well. And now we have the Dilophosaurus. I think it's a little bigger than the Geosabergia. That's how you display it. Yep. Yep, bigger. And now we have the concavenator, concaven, concarvenator, and it's bigger. Same with the other ones. High display it. And here we have the baryonyx from Fallen Kingdom. Yep, it's kind of, but not too much, because they're how you pose it. And here we have the last big boy we have. It's the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Hammock Collection line. And now we finish the review for the Aegisubergia right here. The Aegisubergia figure and the Pachys of the Source figure. And I don't know what I'm going to get next because now I could have like to get the JP3 Raptor and others and waiting for the during the the funding and there's some news about the funding that is maybe worldwide world worldwide but i don't know yet because i'm never on it and before we go um the story about geostabergia yes the geostabergia um oh yeah i told you the story already and yeah i don't know what to do next so i might i might get um a human figure maybe don't know yet and Maybe Ankylosaurus, because that's the only one I can get that's out, or Caritosaurus. And the Ichirosaurus, and the Mungo, something about, like M something source. I'll show you in the bottom of the screen, each of these. And if you like this video, please subscribe and show support to the channel, because when I make this video, every time you like the video, it, it shows that you actually care about my content and persuading me to making more videos like this. So, thanks for everyone that, that watched this video. Please like and subscribe and share. And we'll be back in another video, whatever that will be.